Hey everybody, my name is Robert Biggerstaff. I'm here in Pensacola, Florida, and I'm worth eh, close to about a million point three, million point five. Most of virtually all of that is having to do with real estate. Welcome to my channel. Um, we are gaining financial independence, and some people will tell you they got nothing to sell you, but I do. I'm trying to sell you on the idea that anyone including yourself because if i can do it god knows for sure that you can do it as well that financial independence not having to worry about money is it's very obtainable it's close by it's not a pipe dream it's not exclusive to any certain color of people race sexual identity creed religion or lack of religion okay everybody is able to do this and so if you're interested in being in a situation where when you wake up in the morning, you don't know, what can't I do because I can't afford it, but rather, hey, I would like to go and do this. Okay, let's go. So there you have it. That's what I'm all about. We'll do this through many different ways, side hustles, investments, stocks, real estate, you know, businesses, being an entrepreneur. And anybody can do it, whether you're a business owner, an investor, you don't have to have rich parents, you can just straight grind and hustle like I did. I didn't get any handouts, no lottery windfalls or anything of that nature, so there you have it. The other day, I've got two white Dodge trucks. One's long bed, four-wheel drive, gas burner, then I got a short bed, four-wheel drive, diesel. And the long bed has a winch on the front and a black bumper on the back of it. And I put a picture on Facebook of it, and everybody was like, oh, that's cool and everything. And so then about a week later, I put a picture of my diesel with my tandem axle trailer behind it in the parking lot at Home Depot. And everybody was like, oh, man, that's a nice rig and everything. And then this one guy says, I thought that truck had a winch on it. And I said, no, I have two trucks. And his response was, man, it sure must be nice to have two trucks. It, it is. is. The thing about it is, is that most people are not willing to work six days a week for the last 10 years, which I have. And a lot of those I've worked seven days a week, okay? The other thing is, is most people aren't willing to sacrifice like I am, okay? And what I mean by that is, is that every time that we make money fall, have some type of surplus or something of that nature that, you know, I'm not out recklessly spending on something that's not going to make me money. It took me a long time to get to the point of buying that truck and it actually only has three options on it. I'm talking about the diesel. It has power windows, power door locks, and cruise control, and that's it. It's a bottom of the line, vinyl, vinyl seats, no carpet whatsoever, anything of that nature. I don't know it need all those frills and everything. I was running and doing the dump trailer hustle and needed a truck that was capable of pulling those big loads the gas burner did not hold her actually gave up on me however we made a lot of money with that truck you know before the the motor did go out so you know it's just one of those things that you know as my buddy Gerald Peters says you know and follow him on uh, Instagram full auto 11 is his handle or you can just type in Gerald Peters Talks you know about life's a trade and it is you know all of us are trading time for dollars and the end gets near you know they say that the two most profound days in your life is the day you're born and the day you find out why and so the thing is is for us to make the maximum of our existence here on earth we want to be able to occupy this space yeah. with things of the nature that bring us joy happiness and freedom in the sense that we don't want to worry about Oh, well, I've got a flat tire. Where am I going to get the money for that? Oh, the battery's gone out on the car. Where am I going to get that? Oh, we don't have any food in the refrigerator. Where am I going to get that? You know, these are problems that people face all the time because they're with their money. And unfortunately, a lot of that is a learned behavior. It might be how they were raised by their parents or what they experienced. Sometimes they've somehow got a connotation in their head that money is bad. Money is evil. Okay. And the thing about it is, is nowhere in the Bible does it says that you should be poor. It doesn't nope. say that you should live a pauper-like lifestyle, okay? Money will amplify whatever it is your state of being is currently. Nobody all of a sudden went from being a bad person to being a good person because they got a check for $50,000. It doesn't work like that, okay? If you're an ass now, you're going to be a bigger ass with more money. And what ends up happening, though, is, is that if you have the ability and you're already that person that is of a good heart and nature, and now you have more money, guess what? You're going to be able to help more people. You know, nobody has ever said to me, 
I was glad I didn't have enough money to send my kids to Harvard, and I sent them to the junior college right up the street. I've never heard that. Not knocking a junior college whatsoever, but I've never heard anybody say, I was glad that I was not able to afford, you know, leather seats, power windows, and a sunroof, and I got vinyl seats and no carpet and uh, manual windows. I, I'm glad that I didn't have enough money to get all the options my, you know, I really wanted and everything. I just haven't heard that, okay? No matter what we do, it requires money okay and the thing is is that i've never heard anybody say my life got worse because i had more money now what i have seen that has happened is is that people did not know how to tell others no or set boundaries that all of a sudden they either got a large settlement they got a lottery winning or they got an inheritance or they made a bunch of money and all of a sudden all the leeches started coming out and everything like that well my truth is and people hear from me every day about it's yours to go out and get you better make it happen i don't ever say i've got it and i'll give it to you and you can do with it as you please because i don't believe in that way you know i've had to work for everything that i've gotten god has been plentiful with his blessing with me and everything and just as like the saying goes the harder i work the luckier i get so let's get started on this hi this is actually going to be a multi-part series. I'm not going to go in depth with each one of these videos. I don't want it to be something that's overwhelming. I don't want to lose your attention span because I believe this is extremely important. And it is extremely life-changing. The day when you wake up and you are no longer slave to the grind as far as I have to go to work, I have to put up with that guy's crap, I have to put up with what she's doing, or I can't, whatever it is, okay, there's so much freedom involved when that day occurs and you're like, you know what, I've got enough money. I put up with this anymore. I can be a lot more choosy instead of taking whatever's handed to me, so to speak. So first thing we need to do is you need to take a financial inventory. You know exactly where you're at, how much money you've got in the bank, how much money you got coming in and how much money you got going out. Now, credit cards, housing, this is going to be food, cars, utility, So on, everything that it costs to run your house. Let's see, what else do we have? Um, and then, paycheck. Income, everything you got coming in. All right, if you got any loans, So then you need to find out this number right here. Plus sign, what's coming in? That'll be income, your paycheck, dividends, any type of stock, side hustles, business, eBay, Amazon, whatever it is. Come up with that number. Minus sign, that's what's going out. That's all the expenses that are going out that take away from what has come in. I don't mean to talk down to you. I know this sounds very elementary, but until we get a fantastic grasp on what it is and how money works, these two things, as elementary as they sound, they're very elusive and they slip away real quickly. Great example. Three years ago, a person says, hey man, I'm gonna get into real estate. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that and everything. I've got this, I pulled this equity out of my house, make this move. Guess what, I talked to them three days ago. You know what move they made? None, zero. That equity that they pulled out, it's no longer there. They don't have a car to show for it, no new bathroom, no addition on the house, no this, no that, but that money's gone. And they didn't buy anything that puts more money into their pocket. So it's gone. They don't have the ability to recapture that. So 
what I need from you is, is I need you to come up and figure out exactly how much money each month you have coming in and how much money you've got going out. Step number one, where am I? So on the getting started process to financial freedom and financial independence, do me a favor, go ahead and take that inventory. Do it today, do it right after you watch the video saying, you know what, there's no time like the present, okay? Because you know what you should have been doing is this 20 years ago. So now the second best time is today, right now, okay? But stop, no, it ain't hammer time. It's subscribe time and hit the like button. Boom, gotcha, see, redneck humor there. So do me a favor, go ahead, find out what that number is. Tell me, okay? If you want to send me an email, it's in the description. If not, just hold it close to your vest. Wait for the next video to come out. And then I'm going to tell you what we're going to do with those and everything like that. Why? Because I believe fully every one of you that's watching this has a desire for something different. Desire is tremendous. Without action, it's worthless. Absolutely worthless. The difference between a goal and a wish is action.